Hey guys, Eddie Gutierrez here, and I'm very happy to say that I passed my ABIM on the first try, and I'd like to give you guys some suggestions and tell you what I did in order to pass the test, and hopefully it will help you have the same results. Okay. First things first, um, I'd like to thank my foundation in medicine, in other words, my residency training program for giving me a good amount of training and giving me the confidence necessary to pass my tests. That's very important. Just a disclaimer, I took my test as soon as I finished my residency, within the first couple days, simply because I started my fellowship and I didn't have all that time to study. I also wanted to get the test over with, take it as soon as I was fresh at residency. I didn't want to delay and I think that that was very rewarding because a lot of the topics I saw were still fresh in my mind, things that I had seen while training basically that I was able, able to implement it on the test. The other thing that really was helpful was MIXAC. My residency, excuse me a second, my residency program supplied us with the MIXAP 16 books and I honestly did read through all the material at least once, but most importantly what was very helpful was taking the, doing the questions at the end of each book. Throughout the three years of my residency, every month our program made us do one of the, one of the sections of the MixApp program and answer a lot of the questions as a test. Even though you could go ahead and memorize the answers and do well on this test, it was still very beneficial to us because we would review the material and even though we were tied up uh, with um, clinical duties and uh, research duties, we would still go ahead and review the material in the mix up. And just familiarizing ourselves with the terms and with the concepts and the way the questions were asked was definitely beneficial for the test. I won't go as far as to say that the ABIM gave the same exact questions as the mix up because I'm not allowed to say whether that's accurate or not. But it was helpful because a lot of the concepts presented in MixApp did show up on the ABIM. It's, it's medicine and that's medicine. So they are both applicable. The other thing that I found to be very helpful was UWorld. And UWorld, once again, I do not have any sort of uh, economic benefit from this. I wish I did. But UWorld is something that you can download for, for your iPad or for your computer. And uh, what I did was a 90 day subscription to the service and over the course of those 90 days I was able to complete all all the questions which were over a thousand questions and I was able to do them more than one time. I'm not smart enough to be able to do it in uh, just a continuous mode. <clears throat> in other words, just answer all the questions like a test format and uh, go back and learn what I did wrong. I'm more of a tutor type person who needs to do a question and immediately be rewarded or punished and know right away if I did the question correctly or not, if I answered it correctly or not, and uh, the UWorld has that particular benefit. One of the things that's very helpful in UWorld is that they give you nice tables that will help you uh, learn the concepts that are so important on the boards, and I do feel that that was beneficial also on the boards. Lastly, I was fortunate enough that my residency training program paid for all of the residents in my program to go to Dallas, Texas for the Med Study Board Review course. Now, this is basically the syllabus that was given to, you, to us from the Med Study Board Review course. And this, I do not feel it was so helpful though. Some people might feel it's helpful, but for me, it was 10 days where I basically enjoyed time with my friends, uh, like a paid vacation from my training program, more so than it being beneficial simply because after doing a couple of years worth of mix up and already being exposed to the Euro material, this just wasn't as high yield as I expected it to be. So one thing that you should expect during the boards, and this is something that uh, is mentioned to you in the ABIM information, is that there are questions that are not counted towards the examination. So just be aware of those because you will run into things that you're quite unfamiliar with and don't beat yourself up over the head about it. In all honesty, I started studying for the boards pretty much 
three months prior to the actual exam date. That was enough time for me to uh, not necessarily feel comfortable because one will never feel comfortable with how much one has studied, but more so feel prepared for the test. To be honest with you, I didn't care about obtaining the highest score. I just wanted to pass, like most of you hopefully just want to pass. I was very satisfied with my score because I did better than just passing, so I was in a higher percentile. Um, and that's not bragging or anything, that's just saying that these particular uh, steps could help you obtain a passing grade. The test by no means is impossible. The passage rate is greater than 80%, and if I passed it, I'm sure you could pass it too. You just need to give yourself the proper preparation, give yourself enough time to study. Um, I was very fortunate that my, my fellowship training program provided me with a research block prior to, prior to the examination, which allowed me about 10 to 12 hours a day over a two week period to study for my examination. And I felt that that was very beneficial. However, you will feel quite burnt out when it comes to the few days prior to the examination. Obviously the anxiety, the stress, the nervousness, everything that you felt when you were taking your step one, step two, step three, all those things just come right back into your system and you feel that same type of anxiety. There's nothing you can do about it except go into your test day and try to do the best you can and don't freak out. Okay, so those are basically my suggestions, the things that I did in order to pass the ABIM and I'm very happy that I do not have to take this exam at least for another 10 years. So let's see what happens to the ABIM. So if you have any comments or questions or anything that you want to go ahead and ask me, I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you, um, quite accessible. Like this video, subscribe to my page, anything. I uh, hope to be posting more videos soon. I've been quite tied up with my fellowship and I haven't been able to upload as many things as I would like. But hope your studies go well. I wish you luck on the examination. To those of you who passed your exam, congratulations. To those of you who didn't pass the exam, I don't blame you, that exam is very, very difficult, and I'm sure that the next time you're just going to kick its butt. Thanks.